I am making this video today itself to show that one certificate is still working for KSign. On the KSign website, link will be in description. Quickly tap on the CF DNS to download the anti-blacklist DNS by WSF. It will redirect you to this website. Just tap on Get Link option as shown, and on the next page, tap on the Skip button placed on the image. Now finally, wait for 10 seconds. And now, tap on Get Website. And on the final page, tap on Open to download the DNS profile. Once installed, go to Settings, navigate to General, and then to VPN and Device Management, and simply install it into your device. Now, under the DNS section, you can either choose the default one or select the update blocker as well. Now let's go back and install KSign. Scroll down and tap on this Vietnam certificate and install it into your device right away. Tap on Open and then tap on Install. Let's go back to the home page and as you can see, the app is successfully installed into my device and you can check the date as well. Next, go to Settings and navigate to VPN and Device Management and trust the certificate. In latest iOS, you will be prompted to restart the device as well. So do as instructed. Opening the app shows that it's working well without any issues. On the settings page, under certificates option, there is no certificate. So to get certificate, go back to the website, scroll down and tap on this certificate button. Download the zip file into your device. Once downloaded, launch the files app and locate the downloaded certificate zip file and tap on the file to extract it. Next up, go back to KSign's settings section and navigate to the certificate option. Tap on the plus icon and select Import KSign file. Now locate that extracted folder and look for the KSign certificates. Make sure to import the Vietnam certificate only. Once imported successfully, let's sign an IPA file. Navigate to the library section, tap on the plus icon and select Import from Flies. Now select any IPA file of your choice in my case, I will import the Play app. Once imported, tap on the file and select Sign and Install. And finally, tap on Start Signing. And finally, tap on Install when you get this pop-up. And now let's go back and as you can see, the Target app is installed successfully and opening the app shows it's working fine. After installing, please it's a request to follow the post-installation tips available on the website. And if you want to use VPN with DNS, Tap on this hyperlink here for instructions. Next, if you want to use eSign instead, watch my next video and do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.